Today we're going to learn how to graph linear equations using a table of values. I have three different linear equations. And to start out, I'm going to go ahead and set up a simple table of values. Since I have two variables, an x and a y, I'm going to choose my x value and my y value. Draw a line down the center. And for each one of these, I'm going to set up an x and a y value with a line down the center. Now, to solve these problems, I'm going to choose three values of x. This equation represents an infinite number of pairs of values, uh, an x value and a y value, or we call them an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And we only want to isolate three of them so that we can connect them with the straight line, because our goal is to graph. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my three favorites, negative 1, 0, and 1. I always like to include a 0 because they're easy. I like to include negatives and positives to make sure I hit all my possibilities. Now the way this works, y equals 2x plus 1. So I'm going to extend my line just a little bit, bring it down again, and look what I have here. If I put negative 1 in place of x, I would have 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, plus 1 is a negative 1. So my first ordered pair is negative 1, negative 1. We'll graph that in a moment. If I did the same thing with a 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1, is a positive 1. And finally, 2 times 1 plus 1. There's a 2 plus 1 more is 3 more. And we'll come to the graph here momentarily. Now, I can use that same technique for these two other problems. But in reality, many times you do these problems in your head. So let's go ahead and choose some different values for some variety. So that you don't think you have to choose negative values. Maybe I'll choose 0, 1, and 2 this time. And if I do this one, again, in my head, negative 3 times 0 would be 0. Negative 3 times 1 would be negative 3. And negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6. Again, we'll come back to the graph here momentarily. Finally, this one has a variable in it and it has a fraction. Well, they all have variables, but this one has a fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and choose again different values. Now, this is a trick I learned a long time ago. If a fraction invo is involved in the problem and you choose a multiple of that denominator, so in this case it would be 0, 3, 6, 9, and so on. Oftentimes you will not have fractions or decimals in your table of values, and that makes graphing an awful lot easier. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and choose the first three multiples of 3, 0, 3, and 6, and watch what happens. When I multiply 3, sorry, 1 third by 0, I get 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Now I'll ter take the multiple, which is 3. 1 third of 3 is 1. 1 minus 2 is going to be a negative 1. And if I take 6, a third of 6 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0, thus eliminating the fractions from the problem and making graphing a bit easier. Now if I slide this up so that we can do our graphing, watch what we're going to do now. I'll separate these problems visually for you. In the first problem, I have negative 1, negative 1, and we've learned that negative 1 means left and then down. The second point is 0, 1. 0 means do not move right or left, but 1 means move up. And finally, 1, 3 means 1 to the right and 3 up. And you'll notice that each one of these is pretty much in line with the next. You could count two spaces up, one over, or two spaces up, one over, and then you could even extend your line if you needed to. Two spaces up, one over, and you could draw yourself a nice straight line. Second problem works the same way. 0, 0 is my origin my dot right on the origin itself. 1, negative 3 is 1 over and 3 down. And 2, negative 6 is 2 over and 6 down, which takes me to here. Again, you'll notice that I have a nice straight line. I have a ruler to work with here. So my line's not very straight, but you can see how those points should form a straight line. That's a little better. And finally, 0, negative 2, 0, but negative 2. 3, 1, I'm sorry, 3, negative 1, 3 over 1 down, and 6, 0, I'm going to run out of space, but 6, 0 would be way over here off the page somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and simply use that idea of counting like I did over here. I would have been able to go up 1 and 3 over, so from this point I'm going to go down 1 and 3 over to get another point. Though it wasn't one of the ones included here, it sure does seem to fit my pattern extremely well. So what you've seen today is how you can take an equation that's linear, 
you can choose values for your x coordinates use a table of values to figure out what your y coordinates are and then come down to the bottom and graph them and get your three graphed linear equations and three up